Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. On your screen you will see a piece that I did uh, quite some time ago, possibly last year, and it's the least of my favorites. I find it a little harsh uh, because the colors are very um, I don't know how to say it, uh, strident, um, and I'd like to soften it a bit. So I thought maybe I can use my reusable stencils and possibly some oil resist and see what the result is. Um, occasionally I like to doctor some old work that I'm not very crazy about, hoping that they will improve. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, uh, just like anything else. But can't blame me for trying. So uh, I put together some reusable stencils here on my plate and I want to use um, unbleached titanium. Now the thing about unbleached titanium is it dries very fast for some reason. I think it's because of the white component in it that speeds up the drying process. So in order to counteract that, I'm going to add a few drops of uh, vegetable glycerin and this is a really inexpensive product that I got from Amazon and it does the job of a retarder only that it's less expensive than the retarders that you buy in the art supply stores so I'm gonna give it a whirl And since this is fairly thick, I'm going to add a, a, about a teaspoon of water. So hopefully this is not too watery, but I want it to spread easily on the plate. And maybe the glycerin will make it semi-transparent as well. Just make sure it's not squeaky. Because if I uh, use the titanium straight out of the tube, it will surely be dry before I apply the paper. Okay, 
Now since I oiled the plate earlier, it's creating this texture. Which is not a bad thing, but I kind of want to tone down the harsh blue color. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Now I may have put too much water, but I'll see what the result is. It's an experiment. And like with everything else, you do play favorites and since this print is not a favorite of mine I figured you know if I ruin it it's not the end of the world so here is the print which I want to kind of soften up And I tried my best to uh, make the registration right. It's hard to do registration on an old print because I've moved the plate many times and it doesn't fall exactly in the same place. this for another five minutes and allow the paper to absorb some of the water content. Okay, let's see what we have here. I think the texture is pretty wild. Well, it did quiet it down a little bit but I still want to go a step further and um, tone it down even more so I will air dry this and figure out the next step
Okay, this is a last ditch effort. I'm not really happy with the second layer. So I will just keep going. Again, this is a solution of baby oil and a little bit of petroleum jelly. Okay, I'm going to use Arctic by Lucas. And as you can see, the baby oil Vaseline mixture is really repelling the acrylic paint. Now many of you had expressed concerns that the baby oil was going to smear on the paper. It does to some extent, but very little because most of it is absorbed by the plate. So let me take this opportunity to add some of my scribble work. Okay, here's the piece that I tried to fix. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, it certainly made it quiet down.
I actually like it better. It's no longer very harsh. And these little bits of red sticking out make it interesting without being too uh, obvious. So I will air dry this and see what the next step is. Now this is too good to waste. So I will try to salvage this with some phthalo blue. And some vermilion. It's a very unlikely combination, but I'll try it. Well, since I'm trying to capture the ghost print, I will leave this for another 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what we got here. I think we have a very beautiful transfer here.
the paper is sticking to the plate, but not too much that it will tear. But I think the texture is outstanding. And this might be the silver lining in what I thought was a lost cause. Here's a close up. I think the texture is really outstanding. And I love those little spots of red, like a distant flame almost. So I think this is a standalone print. And I will air dry this and then recap. So don't go away. I'm going to try something. It may not work, but it's worth a try. No, it didn't work. Actually, none of it transferred. So, uh, I'll have to work on this piece in a different way. But I have to let this dry first. Now, since I used um, glycerin, uh, some parts of it are still sticky so I'm going to wait for that to dry okay I'm back I did a little brainstorming and I found some leftover scraps that might work kind of enhance this piece, uh, which I thought was a lost cause. Um, these are warm-up exercises on copy paper. Same with this. And then this is a fragment of a stencil. I don't even remember uh, when I used it. But I, it's a modified number eight. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount them. Mount this first. I 
I think it's stuck to my finger. Okay. When tissue paper is very thin like this, it's tricky to do the mounting. So it will take a little bit of doing because been laying around for a while. I have to wait for the uh, moisture to penetrate the fibers of the paper so it will lay flat. So it takes about 5-10 minutes. This happens when I try to collage paper that has paint on it. So the paint forms a kind of a waterproof coating. So it doesn't always comply. copy paper is a little more compliant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this way it's a little more acceptable to me because I mean, it's my taste. Uh, I know some people will say you should have left it alone, but I wanted to have something that is distinctly mine. And that's why I put collage on it. So that's the first piece, the one I tried to save. And I, I think I did a decent job. Uh, it looks more acceptable to me. And, uh, it's not as harsh and I think the collage makes it look a little more interesting. Now here is the other piece which I do like a lot. And it is a standalone piece. I don't think it needs anything else. It's very atmospheric. And I really love the texture produced by the oil resist. 
It's almost like an expression, I mean, an impressionist painting with the dots. It's very, very detail, detailed um, markings. I especially like that little bit of cadmium red. It looks like a flame. Okay. I like this little experimental video. I, uh, at one point I, I was going to give up and not, not even show it, but I think it's worth showing to do the, uh, failures as well as the successes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.